Hi, it's time to cook again. Today I'm going to do easy, quick cinnamon rolls. We love cinnamon rolls. As I told you, my husband has a terrible sweet tooth, so uh, he's going to love these, and my daughter's going to love these. I think I told you she's a nurse at a hospital, and she was I always have her call me. She works the night shift, so when she's driving home, I know she's not falling asleep at the wheel. So we talk, and she goes, oh, Mom, I'm hungry for cinnamon rolls. Well, she obviously doesn't have time to make those, so I'm going to make those. So I'll have two happy people in my family, uh, but I'm going to do a quick version. So hopefully you'll follow along and enjoy this. I'm starting with puff pastry, and there's usually two sheets in a bag, uh, in a box, and I'm going to roll this one out here. Now I don't really need to roll it out, but I'm just going to roll it a little bit, just to kind of loosen it up. Just make sure it's all consistent. That's really all we have to do. Okay, next I'm going to spread some room temperature butter. It's very soft. I'm going to spread that over the dough. Now you could melt it and brush it on, I guess, if you wanted, but this just works and we're just going to do what works. So it's easier and faster this way, right? Of course, obviously it has to be at room temperature. So that's probably about a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of butter. Can never have too much, right? Okay, maybe a little more right over here. Nice and moist. Okay, and what I've done in this container is I have one cup of brown sugar, light brown sugar, and three tablespoons of cinnamon. Now, I know you're used to seeing the cinnamon mixed with the white sugar, but I think this is going to make it even deeper and richer, more decadent. So we're going to mix that up and sprinkle that over the dough. Okay, I think that's about got it. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to sprinkle that over the dough. I don't take it all the way to the edge because you're going to roll it and it'll just kind of re readjust or reseat itself anyway. So I'm going to do that. Now I like a lot of good stuff so I'm going to put quite a bit on here. Now you can also put raisins or pecans or walnuts on here at this time. Um, my husband and I love raisins and walnuts and all that. My daughter does not. So what, this is just going to be a plain cinnamon roll. Nothing added in the middle. So that's pretty good right there. So I'm going to start rolling it up with a tight roll. Just like that. Nothing difficult, right? Just like I said, if you wanted to add raisins or nuts, this would be the time to do it. Just keep going like this. And there you have it. Keep your seam side down. Now I'm going to, the ends obviously are a little uneven and don't have as much good stuff on them, so I'm going to trim those off. So I have a nice cylinder here. And I'm going to cut this into six pieces. So let's see. I'm eyeballing it here. You just certainly measure it, but I think this will work. And cut through on that. Now remember, there are two sheets in this package, so we're going to do that one next. Okay, I've taken a muffin pan and sprayed it. So I'm going to, you could butter it, but um, I just sprayed it. I think it'll be just as good and it's faster. I'm going to set them up like this so you see the swirl in each container, each little hole. Pretty easy so far, right? There we go. Okay, so that's six. Now I'm going to take the second sheet and do the same thing with it. Put a little bit of flour on my board here so it doesn't stick too badly. It's not going to stick much anyway, but just for safety. Just give it a couple of rolls like this. Okay, that should do it. I'm going to put the butter on again. That was repetitive, just bear with me. I told you my husband had a sweet tooth. He loves donuts, cinnamon rolls, apple fritters, to the point where during our wedding, we had a wedding cake, but I also ordered a donut tower. Yes, it was a donut tower with different kinds of donuts on it. And it was just, it was delicious for one thing, very pretty, and I thought it was hysterical. Of course, he loved it. He loved it. 
Okay, that's pretty good with the butter. Sprinkle on the cinnamon sugar again. I think the brown sugar is just going to make it exquisite. Okay. And again, like I said, you can add raisins, nuts, whatever. I guess you could do any kind of dried fruit, really. All right, we're going to roll again. Now I've got my oven heating to 400 degrees. And once I get these in the oven, I'm going to bake them for 30 minutes. And while those are baking, I'll come back and we'll make cream cheese icing. Now you don't have to make cream cheese icing, but why would you want to make anything else? Cream cheese icing is delicious. I could just eat it with a spoon, which is kind of a dangerous thing, but it is what it is. I love it. And it's very easy to make. Okay, making them into thirds. Alright. Sorry about the thumb. Anyway, I'm going to cut these up, put them in the oven for 30 minutes at 400 and I'll be back. Hi, I'm back. Okay, the rolls are in the oven, 400 for 30 minutes, and I'm going to make the cream cheese icing. So we're going to start with two cups of powdered sugar, and I always like to sift it. It's not hard, it just takes maybe a minute and a half to do this. It makes a smoother icing. I just, it's just what I always do. So, put that last little bit in there. So I have half a cup of softened butter, four ounces of cream cheese softened in here, and I'm going to add two tablespoons of heavy cream. And do that right, right in here. One, two. Okay. Of course, I have to add a splash of vanilla. Just gives it that extra something. And I'm going to put the butter and the cream cheese in with the powdered sugar. Now, you can do this in a stand mixer if you want. I just didn't do that today. I'm going to use a hand mixer. Go slowly because it's powdered sugar. And I'm wearing black. One thing you should probably never do is wear black while you're working with powdered sugar um, because I make a mess. It's like going to an Italian restaurant and wearing white. Not a good idea. So I definitely have to do. Okay. Not doing too badly so far. Mixing that up. Okay, so I am doing that. Just flew out onto the floor. Okay, getting close. Maybe it would have been better to get that big mixer out. Almost there. Okay. And if this is not the right consistency, then add a little more vanilla. Which I may do anyway just because I like vanilla. This looks like a pretty good consistency right here. Okay, I'm going to add just a splash because I can't help myself. There we go. Can't add too much with powdered sugar. It'll go liquid real quick. There we go. Nice, smooth. And that's all there is to it. Having pre-sifted that makes it a lot easier to deal with. Okay, let's taste. Oh, my God, that's so good. Okay, I'll try to save some for the rolls. Anyway, so that's done now. I'm going to set it aside, and we wait for the rolls to come out. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, I'm back. The rolls are out. Now, mine cooked for about 28 minutes instead of 30 because my oven seems to run hot. Um, just check them. If you press on them lightly and it bounces back, they're done. If it doesn't bounce back, keep cooking. So... Here we are. I let them rest for five minutes in the pan. I took them out. I've got them on some parchment paper, and it's time to put on this luscious icing. Isn't that pretty? And this was certainly easy. And I can feel the, how flaky they are, since it's the phyllo dough. Okay, so just put on however much icing you want. I like a lot. So um, again, 
temper it however you wish. Go. Okay. I'll just do two of these for you. Then I'll go sit down and eat the rest of the icing. Okay, so we're going to open this up so you can see the inside of it. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, I can't wait to eat this. In fact, I think I'll try right now. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. It's like eating a croissant. Light and flaky with the cinnamon sugar. So good. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you give this a try. It's very easy. And um, enjoy. I'm going to enjoy my icing. Thanks for joining me.